What's going on guys, welcome back to more Murdered Soul Suspect here on our channel Fortified Gaming and we are going to skip this guy for now. We're going to go to the police station because I don't know where else. Unless we find the gas station like I said on the way. Oh look, there's the gas station. Alright, so we're just going to keep going with this because the gas station's here. The refueling woman. <laughs> I didn't know you were such a lightweight. So she's refueling, was she driving? And here's Rick puking over here. Okay. And there's Brad. Cap. <laughs> I mean Cap. What? Oh. Uh. Gas station. Yeah. The SOC. Okay. So he called a cab. So he couldn't have been driving if he didn't even want to drive in the first place. He was calling a cab to come get them. There's no way he would have just got back in the car and started driving away. Most likely. Maybe one of these guys was here and saw who was driving. I met the killer in the street. I don't know what I'd do. You'd run the hell away. That's what you'd do. Did you see who was driving? So weird. Somebody was alive, and now they're not. If cops aren't safe, who is safe? Okay, so they don't know anything. Real witches didn't have those hats. What are you talking about? What does it feel like to die? How about you stop asking stupid questions? Let's just see if we can find an answer. Answer your question. Looks like Brad was trying to call a cab, but someone, something scared him off before it could arrive. So he tried to call a cab. She's pumping gas. Rick puking doesn't seem to be relevant to anything, so I'm going to try and find another clue. What's this? SOC is commonly believed the same for Salem Oil Company, over no such company exists. The initials actually stand for Sons of Charlie, the legal name of the service station. Established by three brothers, Chuck, Sean, and Seamus O'Leary in 1928, when automobiles started to become common, the business nearly did not survive the Great Depression, but managed to keep itself alive as a front for illegal alcohol sales during Prohibition. That's a way to do it. Why is that house on fire? It's probably not, so don't worry about it. What is this? News article number four. The FBI can get involved to support the local law enforcement. It was clearly established that there is a serial killer. The Salem Police Department had no statement on the FBI's announcement at a press time, but has continually refused to describe the deaths as the works of a serial killer. There is no sense getting the town hysterical over something that may not be true, spokeswoman Ingrid Larson said in an earlier statement on the case. It is most definitely a serial killer. Maybe a serial killer with a purpose, so it's not a standard serial killer who's just killing because he's bored, or for whatever reason. But it is most definitely a serial killer. I saw this. Texas are trying to find any possible connection to the bell symbol. People named Bell, literal references to bells, anything having to do with a bell. Well, they said they heard a loud noise and it scared them off, right? So is there like a... Maybe every time the town bell rings is when he goes to kill someone else. When does immediately move the trauma counseling after discovering the body? The badly burned body. What? Not going that way. Okay, so there's a lot of stuff going on here. 
I'm obviously not close to the scene of this car accident anymore, so let me get back over here. I don't want to waste time just wandering around. I'm gonna just choose this one. I know it's probably not right. Oh, it is right. Oh shit. Never mind. Okay. Mysterious bang. They all heard a loud bang that scared them off. If I could just figure out what they heard. Looks like Brad was trying to call a cab, but something scared him off. Yeah. Drunk off his ass. Something still started him. He heard that loud noise and cut it short. You're all spooked by that loud bang. What the hell was it? I don't know. How the hell am I supposed to figure it out? Ooh, let me go talk to... What's his face? Maybe he knows what it was. I know I'm kind of not doing the main story in this episode, but if we have time, I'm going to jump into it. But I kind of want to finish this now that I found the gas station. Oh, I can't even talk to him. So what else am I supposed to figure out? There's a loud bang, but how does that even help me a little bit? How am I supposed to just know what the loud bang was? It didn't even give me like, oh, go over here and find it now. It's just like, oh, what was the bang? Is it something from over here? Am I supposed to possess all these people to figure out if any of them are going to talk about the big ass bang? Because that's going to take a while. And to be honest, I'd rather not do that. But. Maybe if we walk a little faster. Those trials, 1800s. Why are we talking about witch trials now? What's going on here? Shouldn't be like this. Shouldn't be so shaky. Just keep adding oil faster than the leak. Should last another year. So weird. Somebody was alive, and now they're not. If I ever met the killer in the street. Okay, so these guys are all just thinking about the same stuff. None of them are even talking about this car accident, so I'm not even going to... The fountain is dedicated to the hope that this quiet town of Salem will be known for peace and reverie. Yeah, that's not exactly... I should really look up all this history stuff. Witch trial exhibits. I guess we're not going that way. Going that way. What's over here? This is the last place I'm going to look in this corner. If there's nothing that's going to help out with whatever we're trying to do here, I'm just going to move on to the police department. Alright, so there's nothing here. Don't know what that loud bang was. You better be clean when I get home. You figured... This guy looks like a taxi driver. You figured maybe he'd be thinking about he showed up and there was no one there. But, I don't know. I don't know what to do about the whole loud bang thing. So I can't talk to him. <coughs> ah, excuse me. Alright, um... No, let me go to side cases. I'm in side cases. So what the hell? Oh, here. They all heard a loud bang that scared them off. I could just figure out what they heard. How am I supposed to do that? There's three more clues, apparently. Near the gas station. Or that has to do with this. In Spain, pretty sure they burned them. Why is everyone thinking about the witch trials? What the hell is going on? So her bag is there. Her bag and phone. His bottle. His license plate. This is his car. Can't inspect the car. Is 
So then it said go to the gas station. So we went over to the gas station. And we revealed her pumping gas. There's him puking. And there's him calling a cab. And that's all we got. There's apparently three more clues though. Because there was a loud bang, but I don't know what it was. It looks like it was because that house over there is on fire, but that could be from any, any time in apparently Salem's history, so. There's nothing over here. Trying to follow like these little markers to see if they even point to anything, but there's nothing. Can't go that way. And there's nothing over here. Here, can't go up there. I just have this feeling like something's watching. Whoa. Okay, so we have staircase. Which just goes up to that. And we got a whole lot of nothing. We'll find more of those historical plaques. Said nobody ever. Okay, I thought he might have been a taxi driver, I don't know. Still trying to figure out what the hell that loud bang was. While the Salem Police Department still resists officially connecting the killings, they have completely failed to address the strange manner of each murder where the primary cause of violent death in New England as well as the rest of the United States is gunshot wounds. None of the recent killings have involved gunfire or deaths from burns or asphyxiation somehow on the rise, or is there a killer with a bizarre motive exercising a twisted method of operation all of them? I died by gunshots. I died by seven of them. I feel like I'm getting way off track here, kinda. Ashland Hill Cemetery found in 1632 is part of the churchyard for the recent Puritan settlers of Massachusetts Bay Colony. Certain traumatic, traumatic events expanded the cemetery, significantly one of which gave the cemetery its name in 1665. A shipload of immigrants escaping the plague in London realized their the plague in London. Realized that the ship's population was already infected, they remained quarantined in the area of the cemetery waiting to die. When they did, their bodies were burned and their ashes buried, and the graveyard was heard forth known as Ashland Hills. That's disgusting. Uh, I feel like I'm getting pretty far away from where any evidence of this is going to be. Oh, there's another person to help this? now. Are you happy now? I, I can't. Not until I finish the first one. She would never kill herself, she was happy with her life, had plenty of friends, someone must have done this to her, they must have. I don't know what any of this is talking about. <laughs> New 
news article number two saying police have still not made an official connection among the recent violent deaths. Community, community speculation is increasing that this is the work of a single killer. In the absence of other connecting clues, the consistent thread is a strange bell-shaped symbol found at many of those crime scenes. No one has even remotely theory, has even the remotest theory on the meaning of the symbol, but this bell killer may have a personal reason for leaving this insignia. What the hell? Why is that one glowing like that? That's weird. The day we met. I still remember the first time I laid eyes on that man running all the bad boy swagger. I admit I liked it. What I liked even more was the heart underneath the facade that he couldn't hide. He was a guy from a rough neighborhood, but he hadn't hardened him as much as he let on. So we got, we're not too far from the police department, but. Okay, so we saw that already. Okay, we are pretty far from the police department. I did like a full circle around this thing. So there's got to be more clues at the actual gas station. But I don't want to waste more episodes on trying to figure out what happened to this guy instead of just doing the main story i wanted to finish it in this episode but i'm running out of time here even with editing it down and stuff because i've done a lot of walking around i don't know what else to look for i mean there's i gotta figure out what that loud bang was but there's no more clues that are going to help me do that i mean it says there's three more clues we have eight of eleven clues There was apparently a lot. Was that me falling out of the window? Was that what scared them? I mean, I don't know. I just went around like this whole town everywhere I could go. These guys have been staring at gas pumps for a long time. Alright, whatever. Um, I'll figure it out eventually, and when I do, I'll just cut it into a different episode. Or at the end of another episode. But for now, I'm going to collect this. I squared by night, and for once I felt safe out at night. All the stories he told me about being the most dangerous man in Salem, they felt true. No one could touch us because no one could touch him, and I was with him, and with him will be with him. I know it. What? Alright. So I'm going to end it there. Sorry for the long walking around doing nothing. I couldn't figure out what the hell this bang was. Oh wait, what's this? Actually, unfortunately we haven't made any arrests. We don't have, like, have any suspects. That's why we strongly encourage the people to stay on the contact police or any possible leads. This guy is going to, this is going to take the cooperation of the entire community. Oh, that was just Baxter press release or press statement or whatever. I don't know. There's something more about this gas station scene. I don't know what it is. We'll figure it out. Um... I'm not going to do it in an episode and waste time like this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do it on my own. And then when I figure out what it is, I'll record it again and throw it up at the end of an episode or an episode, a short piece by itself or something like that. But for now, that's it. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Sorry, this was a whole lot of walking around, not doing anything that has to do with the main story. Uh, we'll jump into the police station first thing in the next episode, though. So leave a like if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe for more, and I'll see everyone in the next episode.